The second you make the intention that you are going to better your life, that you are going to in fact start doing the thing that you want to do, the second that you decide that all the naysayers in your world, the people that have constantly told you, you're not good enough, you're not creative enough, you're not talented enough, you're not smart enough, you're not pretty enough, whatever those critiques, that criticism that people constantly have given you, the second you decide that none of that stuff matters and you are going to better your life, those critiques, that criticism is going to get worse. And that is part of your story. It's part of your journey. And I want you to be okay with that. It takes a lot of resilience. It takes a lot of courage to get through all the negativity and all the criticism that, it is, that is going to come your way. And today, what I want to teach you, something that it took me a long time to understand. If you would have talked to me years ago, you would know that I was prone to negative comments and negative feedback and criticism. And when I say criticism, I want to really define that. I don't mean criticism when someone critiques your work in a positive way, someone that gives you guidance and says, hey, maybe this isn't your best work, or you know what you could do to improve this shot, or you know what you could do to improve this photo. Positive criticism is completely welcome and it should be with you as well. You should be open to receiving compliments, but also to be receiving criticism that helps you get better and it helps you improve and move forward in your journey. What I'm referring to here is criticism that comes from the naysayers. The people that are going to tell you that you cannot do it, you should not be doing this, you're not good enough, you should actually be doing this instead because that's what you're meant to do. People that are constantly trying to pull you back, those crabs in that barrel, as I've mentioned before over and over again, the crabs in the barrel that are constantly trying to pull you down because they don't want you to go out and do the things that you want to do. So this is the biggest takeaway, this is the big lesson and I want you to listen in, all right? this is the most important part. The people that'll constantly criticize you in a negative way, the people that are always offering up criticism, those are always, always the people who are doing less than you are doing. These are always people who have constantly done less than what you are doing. People who criticize you and tell you you cannot do what you want to do are the people that are not doing the thing in their life that they should be or could be or want to be doing. I cannot tell you how many times in my life, in my journey, through my creative adventures, through my entrepreneurship, everything that I've wanted to do, I cannot tell you how many times people have criticized me who are constantly showing up less than they should be showing up. People have criticized me who are constantly doing less in their area of expertise or their world or their creative world, whatever it may be. The people that are always doing less are always the ones that have tried to pull me down into that barrel like the crabs in the barrel. So I encourage you, I want you to know, you are on the right path, you are on the right direction, you are on the right course, you have begun this journey. I'm constantly teaching you that to get to a destination, you may have a destination in mind, it's a matter of getting in the car, turning the ignition on the key and start driving. Along the way, the course may change, but you know where the destination is. You need to keep moving. You need to put blinders on. You need to stay in your own lane. Don't worry about others. And the biggest takeaway about criticism that I can teach you is everyone who is critiquing you in a negative way, all the harsh criticism that is coming your way from the naysayers, the people that are saying you can't do it, forgive them. Forgive them. Let your mind and spirit and body know that whatever negativity is coming your way is coming from a place of fear. Everyone who is projecting their negativity on you, everyone who is projecting their criticism on you, they are doing it from a place of fear and insecurity. 
Think of it like the, the mirror is now turned and the light is reflected on them. When you decide that, hey, I'm going to better my circumstances, I am going to start this business, I'm going to start writing this book, I'm going to find a better relationship, I need to move to a different city, whatever it may be, whatever the thing that you are wanting to do, the second you do that, the people in your circle who are wanting to pull you back like the crabs that I'm saying, they are coming at you from a place of fear because they too have these big dreams and these big goals and the things that they want to do. But whatever it is in their life that is holding them back, they're going to project those fears and that insecurity onto you. And you, my dost, my wonderful friend, you need to learn to let go and you need to learn to forgive. Forgive them because they will come around, they will find their own aspirations, they will find their own way to go and pursue the thing they need to do. You need to focus on what you're doing. The criticism will continue to happen. The further you get in your journey, the closer you get to your big goals, the closer you get to where you wanna be, the criticism does not go away. It will keep coming in different areas of your life and in different forms. You just need to put the blinders on, stay in your own lane, and know that you are the answer to someone's prayer. There is someone out there who is struggling, who is suffering, who is in pain, and they need you. Whatever it is that you do, your talent, your gift, the thing that is inside of you, the reason you were put on this planet, there's people out there that are suffering. There's people out there that need what you have and you can provide that for them. Serve those people, use the gift that is within you, go out and help the people that need you, and don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about the negativity, don't worry about the criticism because it will keep coming. You need to focus on you. I'm here for you, let me know how I can help you. I will constantly encourage you, empower you, educate you, because I know inside of you is magnificence, inside of you is this light that needs to shine. Don't let anyone dim that light. Go out and provide that luminance. Go out and do the thing that you should be doing. Until then, I love you. Stay tuned because a lot of amazing things are coming up. And again, reach out to me. Let me know how I can help you. And also, if you're not on Instagram, I'm waiting for you. The Instagram community that I'm building, the Abundant Desi family and tribe and community on Instagram is growing so fast because of you and thanks to you. I'm waiting for you. I'm doing Instagram lives weekly. I'm posting content for you. So please come and join. It's abundant underscore they see. And I look forward to seeing you. And when you do come join, please send me a direct message because I love hearing from you. Go be amazing. Go be abundant. And go be exceptional. Love you, those. We'll talk to you soon.